Hi, I want to do a quick flip through before I get this in the mail for uh, my swap partner. This is another one of those flowish style journals that um, you, you are all familiar with how much I love making. Anyway, this one I made out of a Victoria's Secret bag and I it was a, a large Victoria's Secret bag so I cut it and ha I cut, cut it off closer to the handles and I cut the bottom out and I ran uh, you'll see it as I open it up I cut the bottom out I sewed it in as a, as a big pocket and I also reinforced the spine I cut the bag apart here and overlapped it and reinforced it so I did a little bit of collage on top this I find very interesting this is um, a jelly printed on tissue paper and then I did it as an overlay so I like it I don't know what you guys think but I like it so anyway here we go so for those of you that don't know what a flowish style journal is it's a supply style journal it's a swap over in a group called trashy junk journals and I will put that in the description box below uh, started by a lovely artist named Rosemary Morris and I'll also put her uh, her YouTube channel in there too so the idea is you make a journal and every part of it can be used. So she can reuse this as a journal cover or however she'd like. And you can see inside, you can see where I've sewn it with the sewing machine to double reinforce it. And you can see this was the bottom of the bag. I cut it apart and I stuck it inside here and I sewed it um, inside and I did glue it into the ends. So I'm not gonna take everything out, but you get the idea. You know, it's just chock-a-block full of fun things that she might like. And in the group Trashy Junk Journals, it is a group of wonderful people and we all make our art supplies from recycled reusable things. So map pages, old book pages, magazine pages, I made uh, some tabs from tea boxes, wallpaper samples, you know, it's supposed to be used for your own, whatever your crafty creative endeavors are. This is a Chinese magazine I got it when I was visiting in China, and I thought the pages were kind of cool, children's book pages. Just gets your creativity flowing and uh, just a fun way to share your supplies. So I love wall I love these wallpaper sample books. I have a few of them, and it's been a fun it's been fun to use them. I made her some book page envelopes from magazines and book pages. And it does have some scrapbooking paper and patterning paper. I love this, this came from a catalog, but I loved, you know, if you were gonna just do a border, you could cut it out. Can you imagine what the border would look like? And you could use it in your art journaling and or on this side. I love, I love uh, security envelopes too. And this is a shaving cream marbleized shaving cream paper on a book page. So as you guys can see, it's just filled with fun tidbits for her own trashy junk journal endeavors and art endeavors. And this particular book has two signatures in it. So, you know, keep those book jackets. These make great covers too. You know, somebody may ask, like, what do you do when you get, like, for instance, a, a packaging tag like this? Well, you take it and you paint on top of it, and then you add your paper to the back, or you add your, you know, or you add your scrapbooking paper to the front, thinner scrapbooking paper or collage on it, and then you use it the same way you would another tag, you know, as if you'd made it out of scrapbooking paper. So I've gone through and just included fun bits and pieces of things that I enjoy, things I like. Um, jelly printed on magazine pages you can cut this up use it in your collage work use it for your backgrounds the same with this I liked both this side of the paper and I did some uh, jelly printing on it ledger paper and coffee dyed paper This is just a fun way to share your supplies with somebody who's like-minded, who likes to make things out of recycled bits. 
you know, this whole thing is recycled. The, the, it's an angel card from a deck that I got at a thrift store. Some cool graphics and then a, a book page rosette. I love making these journals. I think it, it just gives you a fun way to share things that you have unique to your own stash, things you enjoy using, and it may not be stuff they have. You know, I live in the tropics, so I sent her some tropical images, uh, some just some fun bits and pieces from here, but also I travel a lot, so bits and pieces from my travels. This is a Spanish workbook, some cartoons from a New Yorker magazine. Uh, this is a, I think it's a physics book. Some regular scrapbooking paper. Just fun bits and pieces. And then this is a, a jelly printed glassine bag filled with some stuff. And here's just some more tags and uh, book page envelope, uh, book page pocket. And then some more stuff in the back of her book. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Now you can see what the front used to look like. It was just this Victoria's Secret bit. So I left it so she can, if she decides she wants to go ahead and collage it, she can too. Now it's just tied in with some fibers. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my little flip, and I'm wishing you all a crafty and creative day. And as always, from my heart to your heart, sending you so much aloha. Take care.